For more than five decades, USF has turned dreams into realities and changed millions of lives. Now, the people and programs of the USF system will benefit from the most ambitious fundraising campaign in its history, making USF unstoppable. When the Deepwater Horizon oil spill began in April of 2010, the USF College of Marine Science was uniquely positioned to inform the general public and the federal government of the disaster's scope. With scientists and students who already knew the Gulf well and instrumentation and equipment immediately available to deploy, USF's College of Marine Science were the first to discover the great undersea oil plumes generated by the blown out well. Uh, you know, going out there and experiencing and seeing this kind of environmental degradation on the scale that it is, um, is overwhelming and uh, heartbreaking. We took this strategy, um, we were gonna go search for submerged oil. And so we knew what we wanted to go for, we knew how to get it um, and sample it properly. We ended up uh, using our own protocols in addition to the NOAA protocols and that's what really produced the definitive identification of oil at depth. Dealing with a spill is a responsibility that we can't avoid and shouldn't avoid. The college has basically risen to the occasion despite having a rather full plate at the time the spill happened. The reason why my group was able to respond immediately to the spill was because we had in place this coordinated program of observations and models. Quite literally on day one we adapted the models that we had already been running to deal with oil, both at the surface and subsurface. We go out to sea sometimes for four to six weeks, and to be out on the ocean, seeing um, as much as you can, putting as many instruments um, over the side, trying to observe what we can't see. Well, in the last couple of months, uh, we focused our activity on uh, applying the most relevant sensors uh, for understanding the initial impacts of the oil spill as well as the ongoing um, long-term effects. I don't know of any other institutions that have a fully dedicated engineering group within, the, within a science college like this. So we are trying to make the new generation of these systems and be able to put them, give them online to the scientists so they can do new discoveries and they can perform their tasks in an easier way. We're just doing what we always do, and that is really good science. We don't move faster than we can safely, and we don't move slower than, than is required. So you know, we're really confident in what we do and how well we do it. There's really no reason to feel pressure or worry about the spotlight that's on us. You could be more proud of the group. I mean, they were top notch. They joined in in a, in a moment's notice. The federal government came and asked to do something. We did it, you know, and we worked together as a team. To see something that is caused by humans, um, I think is humbling in a way. I think we as a society really need to take stock and ensure that we don't do this sort of thing again. People have a, 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 a right to know what's going on and we are the people they count on. To learn more about the College of Marine Science and the USF Unstoppable Campaign, visit www.unstoppable.usf.edu.